We're here in the New World Symphony new campus to have a serious conversation and figure out the next steps for how to revision our great community to ensure its success in the 21st century. And very happy to collaborate with CEOs for Cities, which is a national organization which has put together a group of individuals like our group throughout this country to have a serious conversation, which is necessary now about how we reorganize ourselves for the competitiveness, for the challenges of globalization in this new century. And here in Miami, what we've done is brought together a group of leaders from the nonprofits and for profit sector, uh, established leaders as well as up and comers, to blend our thinking, to have a debate, to identify success factors that we can build on to ensure a high quality of life, to ensure the well being of our community as we move forward. One of the main things we actually took from here was we need to incorporate the young people, the 20 to 34 year old crowd uh, into sharing their ideas with us, showing us uh, their vision for the future. Um, getting them more involved not only in, in private projects but also in government and civics. That was one of the main things that almost every single table came up with. This building is a metaphor for uh, Miami. Uh, this building is all about change and about innovation. It's already being heralded as a, a building that will transform orchestral music and the appreciation of audiences for that uh, art form. But it's also because it's such a public-private building with a great glass atrium and the opening into the lobby to see the great geary shapes and forms, but also the magnificent park uh, that we built for the city on the outside. It breaks down the barriers between uh, the building and the public, between the art form and the public. So this is all about change, it's all about innovation. Miami is about change and innovation.